Mm, welcome to your practice. Uh, my name is Maureen Kane, and I'm going to lead you through a gentle joint mobilization sequence. So just a sequence to mobilize and move all the major joints in the body and keep them healthy and happy. And so you might want to have something nearby, a chair or a countertop or a table to support you with some of the more the balancing ones, or you can just stand upright. And we'll just simply start at the bottom of the body and start to circle your left ankle. Yeah. And stand up tall with the spine. Let the right thigh and the right hip stay engaged as you simply rotate the ankle on the left foot. Yeah. And some of you will have enough mobility to move and roll from the top of the foot to the ball, bottom of the foot, the ball of the foot. Uh, and notice if you're kind of gripping through the hands. Let the hands relax, let the breath be smooth. And then take those circles in the second direction. And so I mentioned this as an ankle circle, but you'll notice that you start to get some mobility into the toe joints, also obviously the ankle, but then up the chain too into the knee joint and the hip joint. Two more circles on this side. Yeah, and then we'll switch. Place the left foot on the floor, begin to circle the right ankle. Yeah, and the left leg is strong and straight. And allow for that spiraling, the spiraling of the whole lower right leg to move. The toes, the ankles, the knee, all the way up into the hip so that the femur is really rotating inside the hip socket. Yeah, second direction. Yeah, and there's always one that's a little more clunky. I don't know if it's a, I'm not sure what it is, a brain pathway one. Uh, a couple more circles in this side. Yeah, and then we'll step the feet together so the big toes will come to touch. There'll be a little gap between your heels. Bend your knees, place the hands on the thighs. And then begin to circle the knees. And as you circle the knees forward, the knees will bend a little bit more. They'll straighten as the knees move back. Yeah, and again, we're specifically targeting the knee joint here. Then everything else moves. Down chain to the ankles and the toes, up chain to the hips. Two more circles in this direction. And then we'll rotate in the second direction, bending and circling. Let your breath be smooth and face soft. Now, one more big circle. Actually, let's make it two. And then stand up tall, separate the feet hip width apart. Hands to your hips. We'll do a hula hoop spin of the hips. Yeah, so starting in either direction, and take this movement slow. And so you're really trying to find kind of the outer edge of your comfort level, the outer, the widest circle for this hula hoop motion. And the knees can be softly bent, they can also be straight. And the upper body can go along with it, the upper body can lean forward and back. And then rotate in the second direction. Big circles with the hips. Stay strong and connected through your feet. Yeah, and notice, notice what this feels like. Notice how the movement brings stretch or sensation into the body. Maybe the hips, maybe the legs, maybe the feet. Two more circles in this direction. Uh, and then we'll stand upright, bend your knees just a little bit. Uh, so there's a soft bend in your knees. And you get to sway your body, sway the upper body. And bring some rotation into the spine, some twisting into the spine. And this can be a really slow and controlled movement. You can also get a little bit quicker with it, maybe even slapping the opposite shoulder gently as you come into the swing. Yeah, and even the legs can go along with it. You can lift and spin with the legs. And just play around with it, have fun. Yeah. 
Uh, if you find yourself getting dizzy or balance is an issue, play with keeping the head looking at a steady spot. So don't move the neck and head. If it's okay, move the neck and head, follow the spin. One more time on either side. Ah, and then slow the movement. Ah, feet about hip width apart. We'll reach the arms forward. Ah, let's just begin by extending wide through the fingers and then making fists out of the hands. So you'll spread the fingers wide, separate them, and draw the fists in. Inhale to spread. Exhale, big balls with the hands. Ah, take this with your own breath, your own pace. Again, it can be nice and slow. You can also begin to pick up the pace. Keep the hands and the elbows at shoulder height as you do this. Ten more times. And then we'll keep the hands at shoulder height, make balls with the hands and begin to rotate your wrists. So making some big circles out of your wrists. Yeah, and you might feel some cracking. You might hear some cracking. Cracking in the fingers, the wrists, the elbows, even all the way up into the shoulder joint. Second direction of those circles. And just like the hula hoop action with the hips, explore the outer rim of what's comfortable. Really go towards your edge. Yeah, and then release the hands, shake them out. Yeah, and we'll make some shoulder circles. Draw the shoulders up towards the ears and squeeze the shoulder blades together and draw them down and back. A couple times like that. Inhale, lift. And exhale, shoulder blades together and down and back. Half, four more times, circling the shoulders. And notice how as you circle the shoulders, the spine also gets some movement. It's like a wave-like movement where there's a rounding as the shoulders come forward. There's a little bit of arching in the spine as the shoulders go down and back. Let's take those circles in the second direction. So start by moving up from behind and then circle forward and down. It's a little less intuitive of a direction. But again, the spine will find some movement. Stand tall with your feet, breathe. Yeah, and then we'll take one circle in the other direction. Up, down, and back. Rest with the shoulder blades descending down and back. Now with the neck and the head, we'll look from side to side. So look and peer over one shoulder. Come back to center and look and peer over the second shoulder. And we'll just spin the head on top of your cervical spine, looking from side to side. Keep the chin, hmm, keep the chin neutral, not necessarily tucked, but not lifting up. And like many of the other movements, this can be quick and fast. It can also be really slow and controlled. more times. And then we'll return the head to center. Draw the chin into the chest. Do a little stretch through, through the neck. Yeah, keep the chin tucked into the chest. And we'll lean the left shoulder over towards the left ear. Roll the head. And draw yourself back to center, chin to chest. And opposite side, roll to the right. Come back to center as you exhale. Let the inhale roll your left shoulder to the left ear, left ear, left shoulder. Come back to center, exhale. And right side. Yeah, continue to move from side to side. 
And as you're at one side, let the opposite shoulder become really heavy. So you intensify the stretch in the side of the neck and in your shoulder. Feel into the movement, really drop into the sensation in your body. Let that, let that harness your attention just for this moment. Notice everything about the movement and the sensation that it brings. Feel everything. And then we'll come back to center, interlace the hands in front of you, stretch the palms forward, take a big breath in, lift the arms up to the sky. I'll come down to my knees so you can see. And exhale, we'll lean over towards the left. So a little side body stretch. Rise back up. And lean to the right. Inhale, rise back up. One more time, either side. Lean to the left. And inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. Good, come back up. Release your hands down. Yeah, if you have a block available, go ahead and grab it, bring it between your inner upper thighs. If you don't, you can do this without. And we'll bring the arms to cactus. So the elbows are at shoulder height, the palms are spread wide. Squeeze the block. If you don't have a block, squeeze your inner thighs. We'll take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, we'll rotate and twist towards the right. And as you do this, keep the hips facing forward and let the twist initiate at the middle of the back as you twist to the right. Ah, inhale to come back to center. And exhale, squeeze the block, twist towards the left. Keep the hips drawing forward. So the hips are going to want to move with you with the twist. Avoid that. Keep pulling the left hip point forward specifically. Ah, inhale, come back to center. Release the hands. Release your block if you have it. Let's swing the arms all the way up to the sky. Reach and look up. And as you exhale, let's bend the knees. Come all the way down to a forward fold with bent knees. Yeah, and we'll take our rag doll. So the knees will stay bent. The hands can dangle, the head can dangle. The hands can also reach over and grab hold of opposite elbow and give that little extra tug of the forearms and the upper arms towards the earth. Yeah, and this is a sweet spot to find some movement in the neck and movement in the head, a little yes nod, a little no nod. And then we'll release the hands. We'll take a half lift. So slide the fingertips up the shins. Lengthen the spine forward. Reach the crown of the head forward. Maybe straighten the legs a little bit. And as you exhale, refold chest towards the thighs, crown of the head towards the earth. Yeah, same thing again. Inhale, halfway lift. Long and strong spine. And let it go. Exhale to your forward fold. One more time, halfway lifting, inhale. And this time as you exhale, we'll bend the knees, plant the hands, and step the feet back to your downward facing dog. Yeah, so as you first come into your downward facing dog, both knees meet the bent, and maybe you can begin to pedal the leg, straightening one leg more than the other. And then switching, getting some good stretch through the back, of the straight leg. Yeah, moving from side to side, pedal the legs a couple times. Use your hands here to really ground through the fingers, ground through your knuckles, not just your wrists. Yeah. And then pausing in your downward facing dog, the knees might stay bent evenly or they might become straightened, begin to straighten a bit. Ah, the next time you take a breath in, we'll shift forward to the shape of plank. Draw the shoulders to stack over the elbows and the wrists. And as you exhale, we'll lead with the hips back to your down dog. Twice more like that. Inhale, slide to plank. And exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. 
One last time, inhale, plank pose, half of a push-up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Yeah, and then we'll bend the knees, lower the knees to the earth. You might need to readjust the hands, sliding them back underneath your shoulders. And just a couple rounds of cat-cow here. Let the inhale lift your chest, lift your sit bones, let your belly hang. And then exhale, strong and straight arms as you round your spine and release your head. Inhale, scoop the chest forward, arch your spine. Exhale, round the spine, release your head, tuck the tailbone. One more time, inhale. And round, exhale. Yeah. And we'll slide the feet off to one side, sit your bum back onto the mat, extend your legs out in front of you, and come all the way onto your back with your knees to your chest. Yeah, squeeze your knees into your chest and allow the body to rock gently from side to side. You might circle the knees a couple times. Yeah, and as you circle the knees, notice how weight from the body is putting pressure somewhere along the back, the sacrum, the side body, just below the rib cage as you move. You think of it as a little massage. If you're finding circles, circle the knees in the opposite direction. And then feet to the earth, knees bend, hands to the earth. We'll take a couple rounds of bridge dynamically. So feet are about hip width apart, spread your toes, let them land on the earth. Push the soles of your feet into the earth, lift your hips up to the sky, inhale. And exhale, let the spine come back to the earth. Uh, the inhale, the feet are going to push, the pelvis and the spine will lift to arch the spine. And exhale, upper back, mid back to the earth, skip the low back, place the sacrum on the earth. One more time and we'll hold, sacrum lifts, spine lifts, yeah, and then pause here. There's lots of variations you can take with the arms, you can leave them right as they are, you can always Bend your elbows and really ground the elbows and the floor, upper arms into the earth with the fingers facing towards the sky, palms facing towards your body. If you have the openness in your shoulders, you can un interlace the hands underneath your back. Now we'll take three more breaths. Let your face and your eyes your mouth and your tongue and your neck all be soft. Let them be infused with ease. Strong through the legs. Take one more breath in. Now we'll release the hands back to the earth and let the hips come back to the earth. Widen the stance in your legs, walk the feet out to the outer edges of your mat, and we'll just swing the legs from side to side, knees stay bent. Sway the knees from left to right. And then we'll simply slide the legs long. Flip the palms to face towards the sky and close your eyes, resting in Shavasana, resting in stillness for one minute. And as you're resting here, you might notice how your body feels. Uh, what is the impact of that little bit of movement, that little bit 
of rotation and opening through the major joints of the body. These last few breaths that you're laying here. See if you can find a place in your body that's still gripping or clenching or holding on to something. Oftentimes we hold around the shoulders, around the eyes and the neck. Yeah. And just with your awareness or maybe with your breath. See if you can allow a little bit more softening to happen in those areas. Soft through the eyes, soft through the tongue and your shoulders and your palms and your legs. Your toes relaxed, your breath relaxed. And when you wake the body, we'll start just by taking a deeper and a fuller breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Twice more, feel your breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale, feel free to make some noise. One more time, deep, full breath in. And out. Wiggle your fingers, point and flex your toes. Yeah, circle your ankles and your wrists. And then we'll extend both arms up overhead, reach for the wall behind you, point the toes forward, reach for the wall in front of you, take a deep, full breath in to stretch. Release as you exhale. Yeah. We'll take another breath here. Inhale, reach the right fingers higher, extend through the right leg longer, get a good side body stretch on the right side, soften as you exhale. Then left side, stretch through the left side body, lift and reach through the fingers, reach through the toes, and release. And we'll bend the knees again, plant the feet on the floor, and roll over onto the right side of your body. Use your right arm as a pillow for your head. Take as long as you want. When you're ready, go ahead and slide up to a seat. And join your palms. Thank you so much for joining that quick little video of mobility. Yeah. Really good sequence to do in the mornings as you're waking the body and alleviating tightness that accumulates after hours of not moving. Be well, stay well.